What, what do you got there? I've got this one. It's a little one. What is it? This is a 009. We can go to overhead town if you want. Yeah, Probably need to close first. On this little guy. All right, is that focus? Let me focus him up first before we get Ooh, overhead. Oh, look at pretty, that. That is crisp. That's pretty good, eh? That is crisp. That's pretty good. All right. And this is a small scale. Well, this is 009. It is 009. It's one of my favorites. So and I'm o about to continue on with my mini layout. So it's OO scale, but with a H, H O, uh, sorry. N? N scale. Oh, so runs runs on width scale. Yeah, nine on mil. Nine mil track. Yep. N scale rail. Yep. But it's a HO body. Yeah. 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 So it's nice and nice and big. Like it's not a true scale and can look somewhat comical, but you can have a really nice little layout and still run a big, big uh, swim engine on it. That's pretty what they look like. What do you mean? Like narrow gauge is like narrow gauge. That's, what do you mean? That's not comical. It's actual. It's comical real, when I real... play with it. Oh, no? <laughs> yeah, it's comical whenever you play with anything. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's got to be fun. But yes, it's like narrow gauge rail. Um, yep. So it runs a nine mil. That'll do it. So you got the white background there. N scale, there you go. N gauge track, nine mil track. Yeah, really cool. And it's the one that we built with um, Marlin many moons ago. Mm. The little little layout that we did yes. was particularly for 009 locos. Yeah, that's right. Because it can have some really tight corners and radius. Yes. Um, and run nice short locos. Yeah, that's right. And this one's even sound fitted. It's really special. It's amazing how they they you know, they chip them up and they put sounds in such a small loco. And everything sounds really good. It's and the not, speaker. It's not teeny. That's right. It's amazing. And the speaker too. Yeah. So what's it mean? We're going to run it? Yeah, let's play with it. Oh, we're going to run it. All let's right. Let's play with it. All right. Let's, let's, move it. let's move it over here. What can you tell me about the Loco itself? Loco itself is a Baldwin. <laughs> you know more than me. And Baldwin, Baldwin's American, isn't it? Alec. Well, he's American. So they're Canadian, the Baldwins. Oh, were they? I believe the so. The Baldwin brothers. I could be getting wrong here. Could be misinform misinformation. Oh, I don't know. That seems to be. We, we've sort of gone off track there. Although I've the just train's put it on track. track. <laughs> on track for yeah, some fun. Back fight. on track. All right, so what are we going to do? All right, so we've got our our power cap here, which we use yep. for controlling DCC and all the sound digital operations. Yep. Okay, so. Have we got the mic on? Can everybody hear us? I think so. Well, I hope so. Oh, Jeffrey's saying hello. That's hello, good. Jeff. Get no one way. said that there's no sound, which is a, a plus. Well, How let's about... fire it up, mate. Stoke the fire. Get the get the tin. How's that? That's quick. Ooh. Oh, they're, they're stoking it. Oh, stoking it. It's going. That is cool. I just make it go the other way. And if you use number two, it works the brakes as well. What do you mean? Number two. If you put number two, it like puts the brakes on. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. How about I press all these other buttons too? Oh, you can make every noise. Oh, what happened there? You've killed it. I have. Oh, oh. here he goes. Oh, that stopped it. Okay. Yeah, it's the brakes. Of course it stopped it. Everything stopped. Oh, here we go. Run it. Change direction. I love the oh, way that they. Oh, gone. I love the way that they build momentum. No? Yeah. So actually, you can set the momentum on these. So I've got it in the mid setting, which gives that really weighty feel, right? So, so he's just changing the gearing. Yeah. And off he goes. It's going to slowly go back. And with momentum, it gives it that really slow acceleration. And if you push two, you hit a squeal. Yep. And then wind it down. Change no, direction. It's not two. You have to let it actuate, mate. It doesn't. Oh, all happen. really? Yeah. You don't. You don't hold oh, it down. I didn't know that. It's not like a brake on a car. No. Well, there's an emergency brake. Oh, that stops everything. Does it? All right. Let's get him going again. Isn't he off camera? It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Is I he? Think. No, you got to stoke the fire, mate. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Happen. That, that's full that's full bore now is it where's him going now i'm going to slam on the brakes here he goes here he goes good stopping power how good was that that was good that was good that wasn't very realistic but it looked really good eh? Well, oh, it doesn't have to be realistic so it's a model train yeah so it's amazing the sound that comes out of it 
for such a small loco, no? Yep. Narrow gauge. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. All right, let's have a look at something else okay. when I reach across. What else you got? What, what can is you this? tell me about here? What can I tell you about that? That's a luggage. What is it again? MLV. MLV. Motor luggage van. Ah. Now, we've got two colors with us. Yep. So this is a 419 class. Yep. Yep. Um, and these are run either English rails. Mm -hmm. And these are run in the 50s and in the 60s. Yep. So the one you've got, that's the... Is this what? like an earlier one? That's an earlier one. Okay. That is British Rail Green. See, I can I can read. And this one here is British Rail Grey. So this was not used for passengers, right? This is mainly for goods. Mainly for goods. goods so yeah. I would go to the um, the docks in England. Yep. I think over in Kent. Uh, yep. And meet all the ships from continental Europe and France. Yep. And then get the goods and take them across England. Okay. Now, may not be able to see, but this has actually got um, mesh covering the windows for security. Don't they? Yeah. They really do. Really fine. Now, these were electrified. Yeah. They used a third rail yep. for, for pickup. Yep. So not overhead. Yep. Um, and they were pretty unique in that they also had an onboard battery system, so they could run unpowered for a short time. And they also had an onboard generator, so they could oh, it's a, effectively, it's effectively go off their own steam. Right. Okay. Um, what makes sense? I guess that's when they're going on the docks. They yeah. may not have been able to electrify all the way up to the water. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So they would run under their own steam, per se. Wow. But yeah, so... Because they just look like a carriage, don't they? But they actually power it. Yeah. And these are full um, DCC ones. They're DCC as well. So they've got okay. full sound and lights and everything. Yes. And I played with it a little bit before. I really like that the headlight. I love that how it goes from clear to red. It's going to be a bit hard to show that, isn't it? It is really hard. We're going to have Obviously, to suss out got... some way of doing it in the future. Oh, we need another. Angles. That's right. Okay, so what are we going to do? You want me to put this on? You can put that one on. All right, we're putting this on. I'll put the other one on, so you know we take it in turns. Well, you get to play, you get to, to play with this no, one. No, 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 you can. All right. Oh, all right. All right. Oh, all right. All right. You don't have to twist your arm, eh? All right. Hang on. All right. So Let's what have fire we got? it up first. Oh, what's that? Good driver getting in. Oh, is that his that, keys rattling? That's his keys rattling, mate. Oh, oh he's fired it up. Look at that. Release the brakes? Yeah. Might, might have also stopped the motor. Oh, he's going out to, to check on what he's done. Oh, it's on. Wow. We're off. All right. We're going. We can go take the brakes off. So that's the generator motor going. I believe so. Oh, it's gone the wrong way. <laughs> well, I didn't know that. It's going the right way this time. I reckon he's come to I a stop. I pushed my brakes. Yep. Here we go. All right. We're off again. All right. Okay. Yep. You good? Change gears? I think so. here oh, we here go. we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I can see the light now. Look when I change direction. Oh, no one else can see it, but let's change the white now. Change the white. Okay. Well, that makes sense. But I love how the sound is so crisp on these. What What, what other sounds you got there? Well, let's get it on camera. You got to bring it back. <laughs> that was a bit. Stop. Well, I tried to get it in the middle. Right. So what sounds have we got? Let's All right. have a bit of a play. All right, what are you pushing there? So that's the, that's the a driver. start sequence. And some of them you have to push like quite twice consecutively. Got two. That's the brakes. Right, okay. That's releasing the brakes. Oh. Is that him coming out? Look, uh oh. He's in trouble now. That sounds very uh cruise shippy, doesn't it? It does. Well that's probably, you know, at the docks, mate. Signaling the other ships. Oh, that's cool. That sounds like a fairy. That's cool. And there's so many... Uh-oh, that scared me. Now, it could just shoot what up was the that? Was that uncoupling? Yeah, that's uncoupling. I don't know. I don't have the instruction books in front of me. I'm not an expert, but you know that's what? That's propping up the milk. It's flat white. Could, could well be. But those are some of the, the sounds mm. and features mm. of the latest stuff that we've had in. It's pretty crisp, now, isn't it? 
Now, our resident uh, rail guru, Dave, yes. actually done a full uh, unboxing and reviewing these. Yes. And he's way more qualified than either you or I. So yeah. if you're interested in these locos. Yeah, look out for the video because yeah, it's coming out shortly. Go to YouTube mm. and check out Dave's review for a proper informed mm. factual review. Yes. As opposed to us just playing with trains. We're like pushing the buttons and listening. I right? love playing with the trains. Mm. I'm so excited for TT. TT's coming. I'm so excited. Have we talked to people about TT yet? I don't know. So if we haven't, or you haven't, well, maybe we haven't talked about it at all. It's a, it's a Hornby um, system, which is being heavily pushed for the coming year. Yeah. So TT fits between HO and N scale. Yep. Okay. So if I go back to here. Yep. So this is HO. This is N scale. Yeah. So HO is 1 to 76 in double O scale. Which is 16.5 mil. Yep. And then N scale is like 1 to 140, 144, 150 around yeah. there. Um, that's nine mil. That's nine mil. mil. And then TT is going to fit in between. So once we get TT, and that's going to be twelve mil. That's right. So the TT line is going to go down the center of our test track. So basically, what we have is it's going to be a uh, a true in, in between scale to make the both best of both scales, yeah, right? Absolutely. So it's not too small like N, which some people find difficult to to handle because the locos are smaller. Yeah. And it's not going to be as big and um, I guess bulky because to get large carriages around on a layout with HO it can be a huge layout. That's right. That's right. A huge layout. So you should be able to get a small layout. What was it designed for what size board? Like under a single size under a single size bed, bed. it was okay. designed for. Right. So you can slide your layout under the single size bed. Yeah. Um, so it's like five foot five foot by three and a half foot or whatever it is. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So it's designed to slide under a single bed and have like three radius. Okay. Okay. Yeah, as okay. a basis, so you can meant to be able to pick it up and manhandle it. So it's a tabletop. TT stands for tabletop, yep. and 120 is a scale. Okay. Um, and they're calling it a true scale. So it is exactly the shrunk down stuff. Well, what, what we've seen so far looks really good, doesn't it? It does. Mm. So we've got the fly, uh, sorry, the Scotsman set coming in any day now. Mm. Um, and then soon to follow will be the Eastner and yep. all the goodies. Yeah. There'll be rolling stock, accessories um extension packs and we're going to be making a layout right yeah yeah i'm going to have it in my bedroom oh you know my wife doesn't know yet but... so come along for the journey as we get into that it's one of many of our projects as you may know all aboard all aboard can you say that all aboard all aboard that's it <laughs>